ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದುಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರಣೋದ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವರಮನೋಹರ ಬಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತುರ್ವಶಕ್ಕೆ ಪಾಸಿಂದುವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವಿಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ಬಾಚಾಲಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂಘೈತಿಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದೇ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಸಿ ದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವಸ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂ ಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದರುಣ ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟುಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಿರಂಚನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯ ವೇತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪುನೋದಪಾಲ್ಲಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರುಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನಖಚಂದಮಣಿಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಿಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಪವಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸುಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನೇತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದಿ ಕೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನೇತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕ ಬುಧಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈ ಕಪಿತರೌ ಕಮಲಾಯತಾಕ್ಷ ಭೀಷಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರೌ ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೇ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ಭಾವಾನುರೂಪೇಣ ಸದಾ ನರನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭಿಷಿ ತ್ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವಾರಾಣಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ಪಾಗೀಶಜುಷು ಬದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಶ ಚಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬಿ ಶಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಜೇವಾಮಯೇಷೇಕಿತಸೌಹಿತ ಜಾನೇಷು ದೇಹಾಂತರವಾರ್ತಿಕೇಶು ಯೇಹೇ ಸುಜಾತ್ಮಜರಾತಿಮತ್ಸು 
न प्रीति युक्ता जबदाथा स्वलोकी जेवामीषे कितसौहिदार्थ जौनेशु देहातिकु गेहेश जायात्मजरातिमत्सु न प्रीति युक्ता जबदाथा स्वलोके गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्रीशील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर कहपा परमंश जगत गुरु टोल्ड लॉजिकल इंटरप्रिटेशन कैन नॉट स्टैंड इन द वे ऑफ दैट एब्सिल्यूट ट्रूथ गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्रीशील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर कहपा परमंश जगत गुरु टोल्ड लॉजिकल इंटरप्रिटेशन कैन नॉट स्टैंड इन द वे ऑफ दैट एब्सिल्यूट ट्रूथ Actually, from logical interpretation, that absolute truth get vanished from us. Guru Tattva, Vaishnav Tattva, Dham Tattva, Nam Tattva, anything, all get vanished if we are going to apply our logical interpretation. This way we cannot do bhajan. Sila Popa speaking. What is actual bhajan? What is actual bhajan? And what is sadhan kriya? What is sadhan kriya? What is sadhan bhajan? Bhajan. What is the difference between these two? Popat asking. Most of the people they are in confusion. They have no idea about sadhan bhakti, bhav bhakti, prem bhakti. No idea. Even they have no idea about bhajana kriya and sadhan bhajan. What is sadha bhakti? A sadhan bhakti. They cannot understand. Sila Pova speaking that sadhan kriya has no effect on your atma. Many times I told, Atma is not covered up. Atma is there. Your Atma is there, Paramatma is already there. Your Atma is covered up by one of the fine covering and gross covering. So that Atma, when you are doing Bhajana Kriya, try to understand. When you are doing Bhajana Kriya, that Bhajana Kriya cannot touch Atma. Bhajana Kriya can stay up to your mental level. Don't understand. Your mind is there, material mind. Material mind is called Chid. You know, it is called uh, Chidavas. Bhakti Mitra many times told, mind can be compared to Chidavas, not Chid, not Chinma. But it is. Mind is such such a thing which can be compared with Chidavas. Chidavas mind cannot help us to do Hari Bhajan. So Bhajana Kriya, first when you are doing Bhajana Kriya, then Bhajana Kriya can go up to mental level. I mean can help you to cut your anartha. You can try. Suppose you are taking shelter, Ado Guru Padasara Tasmat Krishna Dikshadi Shikshanam, follow Ado Ushadya Tatoha Sadhusango, Tato Bhajana Kriya, they say Ado Ushadya, preliminary Siddha, preliminary, preliminary Sodha, you can grow by hearing from Sadhu. Preliminary, you can believe. Ado Ushadya, after that, after that, you can gain Sadhu Sangha. Sadhu Sangha. After that, Bhajana Kriya. So, first of all, Adho Shodhya, before that, one preliminary Sadhu Sangha. Adho Shodhya, at all you are going to, that preliminary, before that, uh, preliminary Sadhu Sangha. Adho Shodhya, Tata Sadhu Sangha. After that, Sadhu Sangha, going to cover all your taking diksha, accepting guru, after that diksha, everything. You are learning. After that, you are going to cut anartha. 
अनथ्थ निवृत्ति आदो उषद्या तत्व साधे संग अनथ्थ निवृत्ति साध तत्व निष्ठा आफ्टर दैट कमिंग सो द सेकेंड साधु संग वाट आई सींग दैट इनक्लूडिंग योर आदो गुरु पदाश्रय यू आर गोइंग टू टेक एक्सेप्ट वन वन एलिवेटेड पर्सन इट एज गुरु आफ्टर दैट योर दीक्षा प्रोसीड एवरीथिंग इनक्लूडेड आफ्टर दैट यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू डू भजन you know follow or siddhant you are learning all covering this second sadhu sangha is covering everything you are learning everything you are trying to know and you are trying your best in that case when you are trying in when you are going to take accept guru path with everything maybe you are not 100% inclined maybe you are 80% who can say in that case your parse your partial submission cannot help you to do bhajan your partial submission cannot help you to do bhajan complete you have to do so that you are doing bhajana kriya what i call bhajana kriya that bhajana kriya can help you to cut anartha bhajana kriya can help you to cut anartha all your anartha gradually by bhajana kriya you can cut you can do harinam everything but that harinam is not pure maybe uh, your harinam is actually up to namabhas namabhas can get namabhas can make you free from and you know, material sansa namabhas e mukti ho so this much you can do so when you are doing bhajana kriya then up to your mental level it can act not beyond that so when you are doing bhajana kriya finally you can cut your anartha after the some day you can get the scope to start actual bhajan that's mean that time sarup shakti i mean the sarup shakti kepa can appear and help you to go ahead sarup shakti if sarup shakti appear inside heart of a devotee then by the presence of that sarup shakti All sense organ become active. Active means positive. Sense organ already there, then can give positive response. So long you are doing all your activity by your sense organ, that is different. But now when Sarupshati going to appear inside your heart, by the influence of Sarupshati, all sense organ uh, become active. Active in the sense, previous also active. Active in the sense, positive response. i mean your eyes can try to see bhagwan your ear can always i you know desire to hear hari katha kirtan your tongue can do hari nam all then so by the influence of sarvashakti when sarvashakti appear inside your heart by the mercy of some sadhu guru vaishnav in that case the influence of sarvashakti can help all your sense organ to react positively i mean they like now guru vishnu can understand by your activities that now bhakti coming otherwise bhakti suspended condition in the space you cannot see bhakti you cannot see na bhakti <laughs> bhakti shakti you cannot see so when you can see the application of the sense organ of some devotees then pure those who are clever they can understand now he is getting bhakti is very much interested to do parikram very much interested to take you know hari naam you can get some extra advantage this way that is called actually uh, sadhan bhajan as we sadhan you are doing na uh, sadhan bhajan that is called that is called actually sadhan bhajan the shlok we started with there it is written it is actually rishab actually rishab the speaking jeva mai ishe kito sau hidartha those who are going to develop some relationship with him loveful relations those who are going to develop loveful relationship with me they can cut all material bondage they don't like okay if they are in family if they are maintain in family but they have some uh, some attachment but not that kind of attachment you can cut attachment only with bhagwan only with bhagwan so jeva mai she kito sau hidartha 
Janesu Jeva Maishe Kitaso Hidartha Jani Shudhi Hum Tarabharti Keshu About your money, position, uh, anything, all activities become very light. Money not, uh, you know, so much going to put you in trouble. So, our Guru Vaishnava arranging this parikram, everything, different kind of, so that we can get the keep of Sarup Shakti. Anyway, devotee is there. You are getting the facility to get Sadhu Sangha, which is the most vital thing. And with Sadhu Sangha, you are doing parikram. You are doing hearing Harikatha, taking prasadam, you need to. I mean, almost all of your sense, sense organs, you, can, you are bound to engage in parikrama. So this way you are doing. So about Vindavan parikrama, I already told, those dharma is chinmay. With this material, way, material eyes we cannot see. Like in Vrindavan dham, you can see Uddhavji Maharaj is already there, but cannot appear in front of you. Uddhavji Maharaj is already there, but cannot, you cannot see. But I told when uh, Parikshit Maharaj and Sandilo Rishi, they arranged one program of Harikatha, they prayed, they started Shankita and Jagya, everything. Then Uddhavji Maharaj appeared from the booth. And they request Uddhavji Maharaj, eh, please if you recite Bhagavatam, we like to hear. This way Uddhavji Maharaj, they, not only Uddhavji Maharaj, so many big, big devotees there in Vrindavan. Rup, Sanatan, they are already there, but you cannot see. Sometimes it, happen, it happens so. In Barsana, one Baba leave body 50 years back. 50 years back. But somebody was that Baba doing bhajan in Barsana Hill. So it is written in Sastra, though they are going to leave body, but they like to do bhajan so much. So, sometimes you can see them. In so many. In Vrindavan, so many sadhu can appear from time to time. Anyway, in Vrindavan, I told yesterday how, how Gopeshwar Mahadev appeared. Appeared means actually Gopeshwar Mahadev already there. For how long, when, it is not, there is no surety. Kopeshwar Maharev is just near Rasasthali, I told. Rasasthali, you can take darshan of Rasasthali, you have Vindavan darshan, if you, you can see Rasasthali. About Rasasthali it is written, it is Rasasthali, okay. But actually, it is Rasasthali. And it is Vibhu Vastu. You see this, this area, but not that. You can see Rasasthali, this much area. How oh, hundred uh, crores of gopi good? I, in the starting I told you, na, logical interpretation cannot stand. So, Bibu Vastu. So, Rasasthali, you can take darshan, but that, or, that original, the banyan tree, that original banyan tree actually gone under Jamuna. After that, our Gosamis, they take one, uh, small you know small tree from that tree some small tree coming out they take and put there now this tree you can see and there is rasasthali actually so in rasasthali also you can see gopeshwar mahadev i already told you yesterday only gopeshwar mahadev was allowed nobody allowed actually gopeshwar mahadev special case he was allowed to enter into rasas so this is gopeshwar and every day you can see different, different dress of Gopeshwar, Gopi Bhav, every day, evening time, every day they are making. And uh, pure devotees, they are going to take darshan of Gopeshwar, it's very helpful. If you can give water daily, almost. And near Gopeshwar, there is another place that is called, uh, actually, this is called Lala Babu Mandir. It is called Lala Babu Mandir. Lala Babu is a very important person, not a matter of joke. Lala Babu is not ordinary man. Lala Babu, previously he was a very material man. 
Previously, he was a material businessman. Lala Babu, their property is so huge amount of property that you cannot estimate. You cannot estimate. Long ago, I am speaking about uh, maybe 250 or 300 years back. I mean, after our Sonathan group, some gapping there within that period he took birth. He took birth in Calcutta, in a very rich family, Lala Babu. They are big businessmen. They are so rich that at the time of birth of Lala Babu, his grandfather, he used to invite people by printing letters. Printing money, that time printing press was not there, in written form. Written form, in golden foil. Golden foil, you know? Gold, gold, foil. In golden form, making Nemantran, you are invited to join and distribute to hundreds, thousands of people. So, how much reach? Lala Babu, he was busy with business almost 60 years over. You see how miracle can happen. Because inside, Prabhupada speaking, inside, your, inside you, Chaitya Guru is there. Chaitya Guru. When you are doing some good or bad, some response you can get from heart. You have done wrong. It should not be done. That is Chaitya Guru. Chaitya Guru somehow, Chaitya Guru somehow always trying to regulate bonded soul. But Chaitya Guru can give full response when he finds something positive. Then Chaitya Guru is going to help you, then you can realize everything. Same Harikatha I told you na, yesterday or previous day. One sadhu only hearing one sloka Bhagavatam. How possible that he already developed? Because he was approaching towards maturity. In the meantime, when he hear, then Chaitya Guru helped him to realize. Immediately that's so. Many times it happens so, many times it happens so, same Harikatha, same Sloka Bhakta, one man heard before. It happens so. Same thing he heard before, maybe from some sadhu. But that day, when you are going to hear, specially feel reaction. Previously he heard this explanation of the slope. But particularly that day when you are going to hear, some reaction appear inside heart. That is called the Kripa of Chaitya Guru. Chaitya Guru is going to teach us different way. Anyway, so, you see, Lala Babu, Lala Babu was a very rich man. He was over 60 years of age. 60 years. One day, Lala Babu, even in Sunday, Sunday he is not uh, you know, taking rest. He is doing some account, he is watching. In his room. In the meantime, one maid servant, one maid servant and her daughter, both of them working there, in their room, getting some money. In the meantime, almost evening approaching, almost evening approaching, and the, that maid servant suddenly speaking one word. Suddenly. It is Bengali, but you, I, I have to translate into English, you see, saying, whole day is gone, but our basana, desire, not to be, not going to, come to an end. Actually, in Bengali, it meaning is clear. In English, English, you cannot understand. Basana. Basana means that lady wanted to say that some dry portion of banana tree should be given fire so that the residue, I mean the ash, mixed with water, it becomes like soap. It, is, it can act as soap. That ash, if you collect special, a portion of Banana tea. If you collect, it can act as soap. Soap, you know? Soap. Powder. So, this. So, he wa she wanted to speak this way. That, well, time going, whole life, oh, no, whole time, whole day gone, din to gallo. But whole day gone mean? Lala Babu going to understand, suddenly, he is doing account, suddenly stop, some word coming. 
he is going to he is going to take positive way by the help of that chaitanya guru as if the lady speaking as if the lady speaking all your life gone you have not taken any precaution all it this is speaking going to understand this way din to galo mane whole life gone you are not taking any precaution in matter basna basna mean basna mean that some portion dry portion and vanity but basna actually bengali mean sanskrit mean desire whole life gone but desire not coming to an end immediately he throw his pen throw his pen immediately take preparation and gone out of home that day in an item gone gone from home he gone where up to vrindavan he gone there in vrindavan traveling like beggar nobody want where lala babu gone like beggar finally he meet with some sadhu mane pure sadhu he is krishnadas baba from siddha krishnadas baba from chakaleswar i mean manas man manasi ganga there he used to see he meet with him and he wanted to get kripa from him baba ji was doing kripa going to teach him how to do bhajan he started doing bhajan exclusive way exclusive way finally he got so many secret thing of bhajan from gurudev he got some secret thing of bhajan from gurudev how to do bhajan very secret bhajan after that lala babu was also siddha gurudev is siddha he was also siddha he wanted to make one temple big temple because he got some money somebody you know give and he make a big temple there it is near just gopeshwar gopeshwar mahadev that is called lala babu big temple very big temple and there is some committee there are no sadhu i in outside sadhu not staying there they we is uh, many time we went there as after that you can there you can find one place where is called kach mandir near there tulsidas ji maharaj used to do bhajan that tulsidas who wrote ramayan he came here in vrindavan to do bhajan there he started bhajan doing and he is tulsidas not ordinary man so bhagwan krishna appear his bhajan was so intensive bhajan that bhagwan krishna appear in front of him laughing but he is requesting to bhagwan paying dhanyavad prabhu i like to see my ishta dev i like to see my ishta dev i know you and ramchandra sam but i like to see in the form of, because my ishta dev na then bhagwan sik is no smiling mood disappear and appear in the form of ramchandra that place is there there is one place near that kach mandir many time we used to go it's called gan gudri the name of the place is gan gudri there is a special place because when uddhav ji maharaj when uddhav ji maharaj was sent to vrindavan when uddhav ji maharaj was there in vrindavan for long time he was there immediately after giving message didn't go give back he was there so time to time time to time uddhav ji maharaj used to meet with his gopikas in different place like one place uddhav kiari you can find i can come to this point after when i can travel nandagram there uddhav kiari there also gopikas and uddhav ji maharaj discussing and another place very secret place is called gan gudri all banana trees all around dense banana forest but now you cannot see but they clean that place make a, a a vacant place like a field that was a special place where at the bank of jamuna at the bank of jamuna our uddhav ji maharaj used to talk with gopikas that was a space it's called it's called gan gudri a special knowledge special knowledge what uddhav ji maharaj received from krishna wanted to deliver to gopikas that was that place 
But finally, Uddhavji Maharaj got a feedback. He, he couldn't realize that the gopi is here. Rather than the gopi, he wanted to give some lesson like professor. <laughs> he wanted to give some lesson like professor. But finally, when he discovered I am foolish number one, he was repenting. That is a special place where he wanted to give knowledge to all gopikas. But after that, he was feeling shy. He was feeling too much shy. That is the, that is the place, it's called Gan Gudri, very nice place. From there, you can go another place, it's just near Gan Gudri. It's called Ranganatham Mandir. It's called the temple of Ranganatham. I must speak some background of Ranganatham Mandir, because otherwise it's useless. If I cannot speak some background, Ranganatham Mandir, I mean Ranganath de Deity Vigraha is present from Satta Juk. Ranganath, Ranganath Bhagavan from Satta Juk is there, not now. Who made how, nobody knows. He was there in a dense forest. He was in a dense forest, like. One day, one, you know, Tirupan Alyar, Alwar, Tirupan Alwar. He was there in the forest, you know, but not, he couldn't discover that deity. He was sleeping in some place and in dream, Bhagavan came and speaking, I am here in this forest, that location. You can go and discover me and make a big temple. Big temple he made. Because Ranganatham is Narayan, na, Narayan. Narayan means appliances. But Gopal never told to Madhavandu Puripa. You can make a big temple, but not that. I make a temple anyway. Do my seva. But he is Narayan. Ranganatham means Narayan. Narayan. So, going, giving instruction to uh, Tiruppan Alwar that you can make a big temple for me. So, he is going to search out and really discover there is pool of snack all around. But Ranganath is there, big, big snack all around. How to deliver this, you know, Vigraha, how to make temple, who can make temple, I am no man, I am beggar. I am an ordinary sadhu, I have no money, nothing. Then Raghunathan speaking, you will have to arrange. Then Tirupan Allah tried to make a temple, big temple, but nobody giving money. He is going door to door to, for begging, but nobody giving money. What to do? Uh, some money, very little amount, what he can do. This way he was in fix. He was in fixed problem. He is thinking what to do. It's a nice sadhu actually. And Bhagavan surely going to fulfill the desire of sadhu. It can never so happen the desire of sadhu not fulfilled. Naturally, all our Guru Mahas in penniless, penniless, penniless Guru Mahas, nothing there, no one, nothing. Crying in the room because of some incident happened in the temple. Where I can go? What to go? No, not speaking, you give me temple, nothing. He is crying by watching the fighting among devotees. Guru Mahārāj is crying in a, a lonely room, closing eyes. Thakur, where I can go? In this old age, where I can go? Some devotee watching from the window that time. So now, by the desire of Bhagavan, he was successful to preach all over the, all, all over the world, even in the old age even in old age. And even after going away from this world, he is going to engage me in preaching. Also he is doing preaching, I am not doing preaching. So it is possible for this kind of elevated devotee like him, Paramahamsa. So, Tirupanala thinking, how I can do, who can give money? Who? Finally, he was bound to make uh, three or four disciples they have some special capacity. One devotee, they have speciality. If that devotee going to keep hand in the lock, lock, you know, lock, key and lock and key, if he is going to touch the lock, lock up and going to open. Speciality. So they are not giving money. 
if they are not giving money and they are, it is the instruction of Bhagavan, and Bhagavan already told, for me, if you are going to do some illegal activity, still it is illegal, not illegal. Bhagavan already told. Because you are not going for you, to do for yourself. You are doing for Bhagavan. So if you put one hand in a lock, a lock can open. This way, he was successful to gather so many property. Second man, if he is going to put his leg on the shadow of somebody, suppose your shadow is Suppose your shadow is there. If he is going to put leg on your shadow, you cannot move. Fix up. If he is going to put your leg on shadow, then the man cannot move. Fix up there. Yeah. Third man, he can walk over water. <laughs> this way, he engaged three devotees. Because the instruction of Bhagavan, you will, you, you will have to make temple, Tirupanala, eh? from very low caste but very nice sadhu. So finally, he was bound to collect so much money. Somehow, who can crook, by who can crook his... Anyway, big temple, seven wall, main temple here, one wall, two wall, three wall, eh, big seven wall, all around. Ranganatham in the big temple, very glamorous temple. Finally, the temple, you know, was erected this way. But those men wanted to attack Tirupan Allah. They could get information that is a main, you know, leader by the help of whom they collected money. We, 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 we want our money returned. Tiripalana said, okay, what to do? I have no money with me. It is kept to some other places. It is kept in some other places. So you can go inside the river, Kaveri. Inside the river. Many people can misunderstand, but I can give clue that you should not misunderstand. Tiripalana thinking about Bhagavan, try to remember, not about himself. He has not taken even a single pani. So he is speaking, the property is actually kept inside, in, in, in middle of the Kaveri, Kaveri Nadi river. You can go, this man, they take a boat, big boat, where all, you know, those were animal, they are animal actually, rich man, but animal. They are actually, as per Bhagavatam, it is written, Dipade Chatuspa. They are two hands, two legs, but actually more, more inferior than animal. So they are going to catch the boat and the man who can walk over water is going to, you know, drive the boat, finally going in the middle of the boat and going to, you know, that boat going to capsize. That boat break down and all men going there in the water and that man walking and coming to Gurudev, Gurudev, that, that bread, that boat background break, uh, no, broken and all men. Guru is speaking, they can get some benefit because their money they wanted to take back, but anyway, their money now we can use for temple, no need of it. And another point, they are going to die in Kaveri Nadi, very, very pure Nadi. So they can get a benefit anyway. So somebody can misunderstand how this is possible. Somebody can misunderstand how it is possible. But as per Shastra, I can show you one or two examples. One or two examples I can show you. It is not illegal. Bhagavan already told, Mannimittam kitam papam dharmaya kalpate. If you are going to do some illegal activity for me, but it is legal because I am the root cause of all infinity world. I am the root cause of infinity world, what is legal, what is illegal, all apparent thing. All apparent, not, not eternal thing. Legal, what is today legal, tomorrow it can be legal. You see political leaders, they are passing rules. It was illegal, just ten, ten years back, now say it is legal. So it's, 
So what is legal, what is not legal, what is honest, what is dishonest, all these ideas are hovering around this material area, material and an earth surface. Even honest and dishonest. You don't know. Socrates, you heard the name of Socrates. You heard the name of Socrates, a big philosopher. He wrote the honest and dishonest. This term is actually apparent terms. What is honest for you, that may be dishonest for somebody. What is dishonest for somebody, it can be honest for you. So there is a fixed term. But as per our Vaishnav Darshan, but as per our Vaishnav Darshan, short, this meaning is totally different. Not like Socrates. Socrates speaking, honest and dishonest, this, this word is you know, actually uh, you know, flexible. It can change. What is today, uh, Asat, tomorrow they can say, is, or it depends upon in which circumstances, which, you know, what for this thing happened. But about Vaishnava Siddhanta, this is not good. Yes, as far as Vaishnava Siddhanta, we say, honest means, what, do you, what is the conception of honest? Honest means eternally present. Our, when you speak, is sat. We say no sat. We speak sat, na, asat sat. Sat means eternally present. If it is not eternally present, that is no sat. Maybe in the material world, somebody can say, you are honest man. That is honest, but not sat. If you are going to translate, honest means sat, not perfect. Try to understand. So according to the calculation of the material people, they can say you are honest or dishonest. But when we are going to apply Vaishnava Darshan, in that case, Shat mean not honest. Shat mean eternally present. And Asat mean just not. So this is all Asat, because not, not present for eternal. Nothing in this material world is permanent. Nothing in this material world this material, infinity material world, nothing permanent. So all asat, not sat. Follow what I say. And morning time I was quoting one sloka from Gita, that if you can open your eyes, you can see everything is already spiritualized. Morning time I told you, can you remember? How it is possible? Na sato vidyate bhava, na bhava vidyate shataha, in Gita Bhagavan speaking, there is no shortage of sata, all around sat, but you cannot see. Follow. Spiritual thing is never a sat, eternally present. Ah, there is so many. Anyway, so Bhagavan speaking, for me, I am the root cause of infinity world. I am the root cause of infinity world. So anything if you are going to do for me, Externally, it seems you are going to, going to do some wrong, I mean, illegal, not, but it is, it is legal. Because you are going to do for Bhagavan. One example I can give. Bhagavan, Sri Krishna and Sudama. Sudama, you heard the name of Sudama, friend of Krishna. You heard the name of. So, Sudama Vipro and Krishna, going to learn from Sandipuni Mini, you know. They are learning, getting tension. One day, Bhagavan Sri Krishna, they are, blue, they are very close friends, Sudama and Krishna. They are very, Sudama is Brahman boy, and Krishna manifesting, uh, you know, in Mathura, manifesting actually Kshatriya. But in Vrindavan, Vaishalila. In Vrindavan, when he is taking care of cowards, coward boy is acting as a Leela, as a acting as a coward boy, Leela, that is called Vaishya. But when going to reach uh, Mathura, and then, then onward up to Daroka, Daroka Dham, there is not, there is going to manifest Khatriya Leela. Bhagavan going to express Khatriya Leela, that Khatriya, acting, behavior, everything. Only inside Vrindavan, is all Gopakumar, very nice. Nanda Nanda Krishna. So one day Krishna was speaking that I am very hungry. So 
So now this is not prasadam time. Because Gurudev and Guru Mata, mother, I mean the wife of Gurudev, can arrange prasadam after some time, not now, but I am very hungry. So what to do? Can you steal, can you steal some gram, you know, chola, chola, you know, chola, gram, fried chola, keep in that. How I can steal? If you love me, you can steal. Let me see. He is going to steal chola from up. And when, when Sudama is going to steal Chola, not for himself, mind it, not for himself, for Krishna. In the meantime, Krishna speaking to Guruma, you see, he is stealing. <laughs> he is speaking that uh, you can steal from me, I am very hungry. And there, when he is going to steal, then he is going to Guruma, follow, going to speak with her. You see, Sudama is stealing. Then Sudama was caught. He started crying, I am not doing. After that, Krishna told lo in a lonely place, I wanted to test what you cannot do for me, what you can do for me and what you cannot do for me. I wanted to test. I want to test you what you, what, you are ready to do anything for me or not. Even I told in Raman, actually, English, you know, Ram Nami day, that Koikei, she was ready to take all allegation. Koikei was ready to take all allegation that he is responsible for sending Ramchanda into forest. But actually not so. Ramchanda himself told, Ma, mother, you love me, na? Ah, yes, I love you. What you can do? What not I can do for you? You can do one seva. One seva. What seva? You can ask the benediction is due with Dashara of my father. Now you can say, for 14 years, you know, Ramchandra can go to forest. And my son Bharat can actually, purposely it was taught by Ram. Otherwise Ram cannot go to forest. Otherwise Ram cannot do kill Ravan, this so many Leela not happening. If Ramchandra is going to stay in the Singhasan, that was one kind of Leela. So, Ramchandra, very lonely, alone, told, You promise me what I want to, what I want you can do? But yes, I love you so much. You can do anything? Yes. Anything what I say? No objection? No. Then you will have to promise first. Then when going to promise, then Ramchandra speaking, you will have to speak to my father because you, there is three benediction due. You are going to get by the service of my father. I mean, Dasara told, I can, I like to give you three benediction. Koikoi told, okay, it is due. I can, uh, on appropriate time, I can knock. I can, and that Ramchandra going to take advantage of seeing, whole world going to hate, hate, whole world going to hate and spit on Koikoi. How much, you know, tolerance, you know, for Ram, for the satisfaction of Ram, you are bound to beg this way. So all secret thing. Material people, they have no idea. They can misunderstand. They cannot understand. Anyway, so Ranganatham, that Ranganath was established there. Ranganath, there, in South India. Big, famous. I never went. I have no desire to go anywhere. Anyway, I was there, big temple. So many people going for darshan. There, Alwar, the first Alwar, I mean the Alwar, the Alwar mean they are acting as Acharya. So in successive order, successive order, maybe uh, which Alwar, Alwar I forget, 17th Alwar or 18th I forget. Yeah. That Alwar came in Vrindavan. Came in Vrindavan, he was looking around Vrindavan, he liked that place very much. He was very impressed to see Vrindavan. So he wanted to make one temple just like Ranganatha. But just like we cannot say, Ranganatha is havoc. But here is also a big temple. Within Vrindavan, unparalleled, unbeaten temple. Within Vrindavan, unparalleled, unbeaten. No temple can be compared with because so havoc. Big area. 
if you enter into them, it will take hours to travel and see all. And big wall, so big wall, and there is current fitted. If one thief like to jump into temple, he can die. Because there is golden plum tree. Golden plum tree. Totally golden plum tree. There is actually Ranganatham, actually there. So, they wanted to distribute kippa according to their sampadaya. But they also like to, maybe there are other sampadaya. They also like to distribute kippa. So, in this way, they are going to make temple, big temple there, Ranganatham. And the speciality of Ranganatham is very much, because it's very rich temple. Very, very rich temple. All around different kind of deities. Lakshmi, these, that, which form, why, so many deities, there's some reason there. And main temple is very big, and their speciality is that they never, they never fit electric light. They never allow electric light in the temple. They never allow electric light. Always oil light. Oil, you know, oil. That light you can see. It is their rules. They never use, you know, electric light there. The hand fan. Always hand fan. Always hand. One man is engaged. Uh, many six hours or eight hours. Uh, three, three men. Eight hours somebody. Another man coming eight hours. Eight hours. All. This way. Also, I forgot that in in Ballab, Radha Ballab Mandi, there is also one man always pulling and hand fan, giving service. Eight hours is eight hours you, another another devotee, another eight hours all, always pulling fan. On those days, that king, big big king, they used to use this fan. King sleeping inside temple. King sleeping inside temple. There is one hole. There is one hole. One pen is there hanging, and through hole, the rope coming out, and the man from outside this, and king is sleeping nicely. This is the rules. Still today in India, so this kind of rules is there in different temple. So, another important thing is there, in Ranganatham, big, big, you know, Big, big Mela festival they are doing. They are arranging a Ratha festival. They are arranging so many festivals. They have so many festivals they are arranging. They are spending huge amount of money. Very spectacular. From outside, so many people coming to take darshan. And another, there is one big kunda. Kunda, you know? There is one big pond, lake. Very big lake. Uh, all fine with stone, all border with stone, very nice. There, they are going to do the Leela of Gajendra Makshan. That, that point. Every year, especially in Sravan, I think in the month of Sravan, some particular day, I forget that day. They arrange and thousands of people coming all around Gajendra Makshan, Leela. In Bhagavatam, you know, Gajendra Makshan. One crocodile going to catch an uh, elephant, I mean. And that elephant is also not ordinary elephant. That elephant, I told you, Huhu Gandharva. He was a Huhu. His name was Huhu Gandharva, his name. He was Gandharva, he was singing. One day he wanted to play with Deval Rishi. Deval Rishi wanted to take bath in a river, Jamuna. But he wanted to pull the leg. Going down in the water and pulling the leg of Rishi, Rishi become very early. Well, who is pulling? Oh, idiot, you. You are pulling like, you know, crocodile, you can become crocodile. That? He became crocodile. He became crocodile, that who Gandharva, and took birth there, that place. And you know about the case of Gajendra, Gajendra, Indudumna Maharaj. But that Indudumna Maharaj is not same with the Indudumna Maharaj, the name of you know, oriented with Jagannath temple. That Indudyumna Maharaj, which is famous in Puri, that not, that Indudyumna is separate. Long Satya Yuga, he invited Brahma to install Jagannath temple. But somehow, there was some, 
due to some reason, all gone un under sand. Original temple. After that, Anang of him, name of the king Anang of him, he established new temple, this temple. Old temple, Satyaju, gone somewhere, gone under. But anyway, so this way, that king, his name was, his name was actually, what I say, Indodum Raja. He was doing bhajan under the guidance of Narad Muni, but someday, and someday Agastya Muni is going to reach there, but he is not going to give pay honor to Agastya Muni. It is a usual rule, na? Any senior person you have to, you have to, get, you have to stand up. Immediately Rishi become angry. Angry means is kipa. They are angry means kipa. Ultimate result of their angry attitude is to get Bhagavan. So this kind of angry attitude we expect in our life. <laughs> is externally angry. They are going to and uh, cars. But that cars is one kind of benediction. This their cars is more than benediction. Their cars, Narodmani, Naradmini went to when going to cars with Nolkubar. Finally it was proved that it is not at all cars. It is blessing. Otherwise, who is going to meet with Krishna? Krishna himself delivered them and give them eternal position. You know, you don't know. Then Nalkubair going to get place in Krishna Lila. They are singing song there. Madhukanto sing Snigdokanto, the two. They are every day in the assembly of Nanda Maharaj, evening time. Every day in the evening time, in the assembly of Nanda Maharaj, when Nanda Maharaj is back, there is some joking, some recitation, because it's king, na? In front of king, people coming to recite something, to joke, to play some drama. Krishna Balaram sitting, they are prince, you know, Krishna Balaram, they are also enjoying. This way, Nanda Maharaj used to give donation to them. They expect something from king, you know. So, Madhukanto, Sikdhukanto, they used to sing song in the assembly of Nanda Maharaj. So you see, now we understand that Narad Maharaj is going to curse them or bless them. It's a blessing. So this way, when Agastya Muni was angry, going to give cards, finally what happened? He take birth as elephant. He take birth as elephant. It happens so in Bankura. I can speak. Or Rasikananda Prabhu, Abhir Bhakti Rabhav can come, I can speak. Not now. Also, one big, you know, Jamindar, landlord, he become, due to Aparad, he take the form of elephant. After he was delivered by Rasikananda, how and when, it's big. So, Gajendra is Indraddhanu Maharaj, and that crocodile is Hu Gandharva. Both of them need to be delivered. Who can deliver? Bhagavan is there. Bhagavan coming down when Gajendra is going to cry and speak, Prabhu, I am not going to... Gajendra speaking, very important thing. Gajendra speaking, Prabhu, I am not requesting to... I am not requesting to protect my elephant body. Don't think that I am going to request you, what I can do with this elephant body? I am not interested. I am requesting you to get your keeper. Who... I am not at all going to pray you that my elephant body you can rescue. I can play with a sea elephant very much, enjoy. Not there. Hey, Gajendra speaking, Prabhu, it is written. Prabhu, surely I am not, surely I am, I am, surely I am not rescue. I am requesting you to deliver this elephant body. What I can do? What is the use of this elephant body? Huh? Animal body. Oh, I am depending upon your keeper. Then, Bhagavan immediately coming, riding on Garur Bhagavan eh? and Lakshmi Devi with Lakshmi. There is some nice darshan I discussed before, long before. Lakshmi Devi. Oh, no, follow. So, so many questions, but common man, they have no idea. I can speak something, you can go mad. Okay, I can touch something. Then Bhagavan jumping from Garur. He cannot bear the pain of elephant with will. 
with will. Bhagavan jumping from, from Garur Bhagavan and going to cut the throat of throat of crocodile. Bhagavan going to cut the throat of crocodile. This way, crocodile also going to get the touch of Sudarshan. Is also delivered. And this way, Bhagavan going to deliver Gajendra. So this way, both of them delivered. So many questions coming. Those who are intelligent, very intelligent, bring bhajan. They put this kind of question. They say, Maharaj, it is risen thousands of years fighting going on in the water between. Because you are going to estimate according to your own calculation. Oh, we live only for 70, 78 or 30. It is not there. It is Satya Yuga. Usually, that time, man, one man used to live one lakh year, one lakh. And what to speak about elephant? Your lifespan is not same with elephant. One tortoise, tortoise living for 500 years. Lifespan of one tortoise, you, have, you know, you don't know. You don't know, you have no idea. 500 years, one tortoise, lifespan. Uh, one lifespan of elephant is very high, long. They are not going to die so... Anyway, so... Point is that somebody complaining, Maharaj, how possible is absurd? And how? But uh, there was fighting in the lake. Yes, for thousands of years. They are putting questions. So intelligent question, you see. Well, Maharaj, for thousands of years, they are fighting in the water. Big water, all... Is the what aquatic element they almost go because the big fighting going on aquatic element cannot live, survive there if at all fish anything anyway but they where from where from gajendra got one lotus flower to offer unto the lotus flower it is written it is written in bhagavatam gajendra mokshan gajendra finally take one lotus flower and namo narayana is going to show very intelligent question. Where from? Because this water is you know, totally, you know, starring. Where from lotus flower can develop this? That is all destroyed now. Even aquatic element cannot live. Where from this? Where from the, where from the question of one you know, lotus flower can come? It's absurd. Then our Vishnu Chakoti, we are all fine giving answer. Point is there. When Lakshmi, Lakshmi Devi came with, Lakshmi Devi came now, with Narayan. When Lakshmi Devi is going to see the painful condition of Gajendra, and Gajendra crying, I am not in bonded condition, what I can offer to Bhagavan? Then Lakshmi Devi is going to give his own lotus flower to Gajendra. My son, you take it. Lakshmi Devi says, my son, you are in trouble, I am going to give you flower. Now, you take it. That lotus flower was... Uh, given by Lakshmi Devi, and that will is going to do and throw onto the lotus feet of Narayan. So nice darshan, you know. Anyway, there is nice in Savani Purnima. Savan, Savan, you know. Savan, you don't know. Bengali month, Savan. At that rainy season. There they arrange Gajendra Moksha and Leela, thousands of people coming. There's big. So this is called Ranganatham temple. They are arranging different kind of festival, everything. But we Gauriya are not so interested because Ranganathan temple, we go sometime going. But all Gauriyas, they are not all as well. No, we use that. What to go there? Anyway, this way, up to Vrindavan, so many things also there. But time cannot permit, I think, because very quickly I will start Parikram. This is also Parikram, with Darshan you are doing, na? Anyway, we'll have to do darshan of Vrindavan darshan, how we can do? All you have to, Gavindaji, Radha Raman, Radha Ballab, <laughs> Radha Gopinath, Radha Madan Mohan, you have to, anyway, you have to go and take darshan. So, we are now taking darshan within this Vrindavan, and if I can, if time permit, tomorrow I can speak about some more uh, darshan, special darshan, because there is some Sahaji Mandir, Saha, from Lucknow, one said, big people came. Very fantastic thing, but we are not going. When a curtain, I mean, design of temple is very good. But we are not going. It is not Gauriya. So, 
we can discuss so many things tomorrow uh, maybe tomorrow so today i like to stop here you know and after that we can go to bhuteshwar mathura we can take darshan of different thing in mathura after from bhuteshwar we can start parikram can do different forest anyway jeva mai se kito sauhidartha jane shu dehantar vartikeshu gehe su jayatma jarati matsu na prit yukta javadartha shloke vanchakalpa durasika basindu pachitanang pavane bhuvishna bhyo na